This question here is another profit type of a question. So because there is not an answer, it is not an isolating or substituting question. It's a profit question. So if we have the admission to a sportsman show is a dollar, then 240 people attend. So we have 240 people that pay a dollar. So right now we're making $240. However, every time we increase the price by multiples of 25 cents, attendance drops by multiples of 30 people. So attendance is going down, but the people that attend are paying more. So at some point, there's like a maximum set price that they should set the admission at. So even though they're losing people, they're still making the maximum profit. So the people are decreasing by multiples of 30, so 30x. The admission is increasing by multiples of 25x. So x is the number of price increases. So the number of price increases. Okay, so let's tidy this up by applying the distributive property. So I do 240 times 1 plus 240 times 0 0.025. Negative 30x times 1. And negative 30 times 0.25. So that's 7.5, negative 7.5x squared. Okay, so rearranging this, I have negative 7.5x squared. 60 take away 30 is 30x plus 240. So this is going to be my maximum gate receipts or profits. Okay, so to do this, I need to complete the square, and I do that by dividing the number in front of x squared out. So remember that 240 is going to stay on the outside of the brackets. I only factor it from the x terms. So negative 7.5x squared divided by negative 7.5 is x squared. And then 30 divided, 30x divided by negative 7.5 is positive, no, negative 4x. And then I'll leave myself some space. Okay, so go up to your grid and we're going to complete the square for this. So I have x squared that goes here. I take negative 4x and divide it into two equal pieces. And then I want to figure out what completes the square by factoring. So to factor out the GCF of this row, it's x. To factor out the GCF of this column, it's also x. Take out your leading coefficient of negative 2. And let's just check to see if that's right. So x times x is x squared. Negative 2 times x is negative 2x. x times negative 2 is negative 2x. Negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. So it looks like positive 4 will complete my square. So inside the brackets, I add and subtract 4. Again, I do that because 4 take away 4 is 0. And you can add 0 to any expression without changing its value. So the maximum receipts are going to be negative 7.5 times, let's look at our perfect square trinomial here, back up to the grid, I know that factors as x minus 2 times x minus 2, or x minus 2 squared. Now, don't forget about that negative 4 on the inside. So negative 7.5 times negative 4 comes out. So negative 7.5 times negative 4 is positive 30. So I add positive 30, to the 240 that is already outside the brackets. So my maximum is negative 7.5 x minus 2 squared, and 30 plus 240 is 270. So my vertex is going to be opposite on the inside, negative 2, becomes positive 2, straight up on my outside. Because it's negative, I know my parabola opens down, so I do, in fact, have a maximum. So this is what my max or min is. This is when my max or min occurs. So what my max is, is the maximum receipts or profits would be $270. And two is the number of increases. So I'm going to have two increases in price. 
So if I look up here, X is the number of price increases. So if I increase the price by multiples of 25 and I do that two times, my new price is going to be, so two increases, my price is going to be $1 plus two increases of 25 cents, which will be $1.50, okay? Over here, 30 less people are going to attend. So I'm going to have 240 take away two multiples of 30. So that's 240 take away 60 is 180. So you're going to have 180 people attend, and those people will pay $1.50. So 180 people attending at $1.50 each would give you a maximum revenue of $270. So let's look at that all together here. So uh, find the admission price which should be charged. So that admission should be charged is $1.50. And the number of people who will attend at this price is 180 people.